Have you ever gone a day without your phone being fully charged? If you know me, usually I start my day with my phone at about 29% by the time I get to work. While I'm getting ready in the morning and listening to music or podcasts or just gets drained quickly, most would tell me to get a new phone or why didn't you charge it better? And all these questions are valid, yet I continue to start my day off with a low phone battery. Pretty much the whole day, I'm either low on battery or have to find a place to charge my phone. Sometimes my phone dies and I have to wait for it to charge up, which causes me many inconveniences and frustrations during my day. How much better would my day go if the thing I use the most to do my stuff were charged and ready to go? The reason I'm telling you this is how often are we not connected to the source? How do we set up our day with Christ in mind and then it turn in with our spouse in mind? In life, our priority should be our connection with God, then our spouse, then our children, and everything else after that. We are created to worship. The Greek word proskuneo means worship, but not just in music, but in everything we do, say, and think. When we put God first and stay connected to the source, which is His word, His truth, and the relationship we have with Him, then everything falls into place. But then not only in our relationship with God, but in marriage, we have the dilemma of putting ourselves first. We do not have to learn how to love ourselves. We already do that already. You do it every day without thinking about it, what you eat, what you choose, the things that benefit you, and a whole long list of putting yourself first throughout the day. Let's look at Jeremiah 17, nine. It says the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked, who can know it? When we understand first who Jesus is and why he came to this earth to save us and make the ultimate sacrifice, we are reminded that we need his heart. Ours is wicked and without his blood that he shed for us, we would have no hope. When you look at 1 John 4, 19, it says we love because he first loved us. Because of this truth, we can hold on every day knowing because he loves us that we can love. I don't know about you, but I am the worst. I'm selfish, I am broken, in need of his grace daily. How would your marriage look if you chose to remind yourself of your need of a savior and that your spouse is also in need? How would your marriage look if you chose to extend the grace that was freely given to you to your spouse every morning? That transformation that would occur in your heart and your relationship would be amazing. There are always ways and trips and ticks and tips and theories that you can hold on to in helping your marriage, but it starts with the source. Are you choosing every day, every moment to be connected to the Father? And after you ask yourself that question, are you dying to yourself, choosing to put your spouse before you? Whether you the husband or the wife, choose to put the other first.